yo what it do it's your boy Jay Lou you guys are just in time for another video in this video what I'm explaining to you all is how to find your crown as you can see where I live at it's pretty sunny and everything like that but I'm enjoying this day but yeah y'all stay tuned actually you know what follow me follow me all right you guys stick with me i promise you guys this is not the exact same video the video that i originally had posted was flagged it was actually blocked by the company umg universal music group they felt that the instrumental that i used was an original track of theirs which it wasn't you know because i always make sure i, I take the necessary steps to prevent that kind of stuff but when you're going up against a company like that you really can't argue i disputed it but once i disputed it i guess that pissed them off so they blocked my video so i just wanted to upload this video just again with some new audio if you already watched it i appreciate it if you haven't watched it already i definitely appreciate you checking out my channel checking out this video but yeah man y'all stay tuned just to start things off from my last cut i learned the best way to find your crown is when you cut your hair very low because all you have to do is look for the portion of your hair that naturally swirls and as i showed you guys in my previous video my hair swirls around this part right here you know so as you all can see I'm focusing my crown just to be in that little area right there and it's a lot easier this time now that I know where it's at but as a new waiver trying to locate your crown that's something that if you haven't cut your hair very low I advise you to do it if you're a coarse hair waiver you can cut one with the grain and that should be able to be low enough to where you can see your crown if you're a medium or fine texture waiver I encourage you guys to cut a 2 or even a 1.5 that should be low enough to where you can see where your crown is but yeah so what you what you want to be able to do is locate the part of your hair that naturally swirls it's going to either swirl clockwise or counterclockwise so like let's say you don't want to cut that low because you you're, you're scared you're going to lose progress or whatever the case is if you want to find your crown you have to understand that most people typically only have one crown in most cases i've seen people their crown is off centered which means it's either to the right or to the left i've also seen cases where people have two crowns they may have a dominant crown right here and then they have a minor crown to the side so when they brush their hair they have this big open looking area because they, they don't know which which crown is their, is their main crown you know so if you're in the latter case if you have two crowns one dominant and then one minor crown what you want to do is focus on your major crown when you want to find your crown the easiest thing to do is to cut your hair very low and just look for where it naturally swirls if you don't want to do that then you need to take a comb non waivers think a crown is a ball spot you know and if you're new if you don't know what a crown is or whatever the case is just look for the part in your hair that no matter how you brush it kind of looks like a ball spot i would just comb around my hair that tends to show up like a, as a ball spot and then just try to brush if you have a, a swirl if you're trying to go for a swirl try to brush in the direction of the swirl if you have a comb it's easier to do it because you can take the comb and then just comb around it and if it if your hair tends to go in that direction it's not really hard to comb and it's starting to stand out more that goes to show you that you found your crown but if it gets to a point to where you're combing and you're brushing and everything like that and it's really not working you may be either combing and combing or brushing in the wrong direction or they may not be where your crown is so like i said i would i would advise you to just cut low and you can experiment if you don't want to take a chance of losing progress you can go to the barber low as you can go is a two with the grain uh, especially if you're a medium texture waver like myself and you'll still be able to maintain your connections but even go two with the grain and the crown because the crown is the thinnest part of your hair so when you cut the crown the same height in the low cut it'll it should stand out more one of the things i also want to point out is if you want to have a beehive pattern what you want to do is you're going to have to break the natural swirl of your pattern this is one reason why whenever you classify the different patterns 360s with a swirl is the easiest then i would say 540s are easier as well then i would say a beehive comes after that and then after the beehive i would say 720s would be one of the harder patterns to achieve you know i'm not gonna go into an update about my hair this is more so about how you find your crown but yeah as you can see uh from my previous picture my crown sore right here so i've been brushing my hair in a swirl motion just around my crown area and as you can see it's standing out it, it's not as open as before 
just wanted to make this quick little video of how to find your crown. If you guys have any any questions or whatever the case is, leave them down in the comments below. The channel's been growing. I appreciate everybody that's been supporting it. Like I said, I'm fighting to get one of my videos posted back up, but uh, we just recently hit over 225 subscribers. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. But yeah, if there's anything else that you guys need help with, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you're new, make sure you just subscribe. If you're returning, make sure you like the video. Feel free to share it if it helped you out, you know, because there's a lot of people that they don't really understand how to find that crown. But it's your boy, J. Lou. Hope y'all enjoy y'all day. Salute.